Hello, Daniel J. Gross Catholic High School. I am Father Bob Jones, I'm a Marianist, and I'm coming to you today from the chapel at Chaminade Julian Catholic High School in Dayton, Ohio, where I am the chaplain. So first of all, from all of us at CJ in Ohio, to all of you at Gross Catholic in Nebraska, we want to wish you a very happy Chaminade Day. And I would like to add, go Cougars! It's good to be in Omaha, if only virtually. My hope is that one day I will get to discover the wonder and excitement that is Omaha and Bellevue, and of course, to visit your school. I've never been to Gross Catholic, but I feel that there is a bit of a connection there already. First of all, through the Marianist Life community, I've had the opportunity to meet many of your classmates and alums who have participated in the Summer Life program here in Dayton. Secondly, I am honored to call some of your teachers and staff members my friends. We've met at various Marianist gatherings throughout the years. And finally, I was honored to live during my early formation years as a Marianist with two of the giants of the Gross Catholic community, Brother Joe Barrett and Brother Leo Willett. Very good men. As you know, today we celebrate Shamanat. It was on this day, January 22nd, back in 1850, that William Joseph Chaminade died at the age of 89 after having founded the Marianist family. As members of the Gross Catholic community, you are part of this family. And so today is a day to celebrate and also to recommit ourselves to Blessed Chaminade's vision and inspiration. So what is it? What is that vision and inspiration that Blessed Shamanad has given to us? Well, there are many ways that we can articulate it, but I think that this year, in the middle of a global pandemic, we are given a special opportunity and maybe even a new novel way to think about what it means to be a good daughter and son of Blessed Shamanad what it means to be a member of the Marianist family, what it means to follow in the footsteps of Blessed Shabbat. So to put it simply, my message to you today is go and be contagious. Yes, you heard me right. I want you to go and be contagious. But please allow me to explain. In the past year, we have all learned a lot about contagious diseases, right? And specifically, we have learned how not to be contagious. Wear a mask. Keep six feet apart from each other. Wash your hands. Who knew that we were going to have to learn how to wash our hands? 20 seconds, sing the happy birthday song. We've also learned a lot about contact tracing and things like ventilation. All things to keep the contagion away. In the era of COVID, we don't want to be contagious, and we'll do just about anything to keep the illness away. But Blessed Shamanad, believe it or not, wants us to be contagious. Not with COVID, not with any disease, nobody wants that. But for Blessed Shamanad, he wanted us to be contagious with goodness, what we often call to be a contagion of good. Because Blessed Shamanad believed that one good act could spread in a person to another good act. Blessed Shamanad thought that one good act could inspire another good act in another person. And this is really how he decided to work and this is what grew that Marianist family. Now, I'm sure you know the story, but let's do a very quick review. During the French Revolution, Blessed Chaminade was exiled in Saragossa in Spain. And for three years, he prayed daily before the shrine of Our Lady of the Pillar. And during that time, he received some inspiration from Mary. We don't know exactly what it was, but it was something that set him on fire. When he returned to France, he was energized, he was renewed, 
and he was ready to get to work. He was ready to spread the faith in a place where it was really lacking. And how did he do that? Well, he began by gathering young people together, young people just like you, into a group called the Sodality. And these members of the Sodality would teach by their example. They would attract and influence by their Christian way of life. They would spread the gospel, you guessed it, by being contagious. But their contagion wasn't anything bad. In fact, it was very good. It was an encouraging word. It was an act of kindness. It was a life lived with virtue and goodness. And they spread the gospel. Father Shamanad would actually call them missionaries, although they never went to far-flung areas. They spread the gospel right where they were by a contagion of good. And they were quite contagious. Blessed Shamanad started this new enterprise with 11 young people, and within a year, it had grown to almost 100. Their very lives of faith attracted other individuals, and the Archbishop of Bordeaux, where he was working, once said that when I see all of the good happening in the city, I can trace it back to Father Shamanad and the Sodality. So where did these members of the Sodality find their goodness? Where did they find their motivation to work in such a way? Well, just like Blessed Shamanad, they found their motivation and their inspiration from Mary, the mother of Jesus. They were inspired by Mary, who first said yes to bringing Jesus into the world at the Annunciation. They were inspired by Mary, who looked to Jesus when the wine ran out at Cana. They were inspired by Mary, who followed Jesus and pondered all things, all of his teachings in her heart. They were inspired by Mary, who stood at the foot of the cross, believing that death was not the answer. And they were inspired by Mary, who rejoices now in heaven with her son. And they were inspired by following Mary's example of bringing Jesus into the world. By their very lives, under the inspiration of Mary, they lived out goodness taking the example of Mary, and in doing so, they were quite contagious. Brothers and sisters, we as part of the Marianist family are invited to do the same, to look to Mary as an example of what it means to live out goodness. Just as Mary, each one of us is invited to say yes to Jesus each and every day of our lives to listen to where God is calling us, and then to have the courage to follow that call. Just like Mary, we too are invited to look to Jesus in times of need, especially when things are uncertain or confusing or overwhelming. We have a lot of opportunities to practice this right now, I think. And just like Mary, we are invited to follow Jesus in all of his teachings, Willing to love our brothers and sisters, to love even our enemies. And just as Mary did, we are invited to stand up against those things that cause a sort of death in others. Things such as racism and prejudice, a disrespect for life, hatred, and violence. And just like Mary, we are invited to live in such a way that someday we too can rejoice with Jesus in the fullness of the kingdom of heaven. By our thoughts, by our words, by our actions, by our very lives, just like Mary, we are invited to make Jesus Christ present in our world by being contagious, by being a contagion of good for all of our brothers and sisters. Now, there at Gross, you have some great examples of people who have already done this. And no wonder they are the names of your houses. 
Brother Leo Willett gave out hundreds, maybe even thousands, of Calvary pictures. The scene of the crucifixion where Jesus is surrounded there by Mary and the beloved disciple. I bet there are some at Gross. Everybody in my family has one of them. This was his way of spreading the gospel, about teaching about salvation. And Brother Leo, that was a contagion of good. Brother Rich Middleton was a quiet, humble librarian who did many things behind the scenes. He never called attention to himself. But think about that example of generosity and simplicity that he offered to so many students in your library. This was his way of spreading the gospel, of being a faithful servant of others. For Brother Rich, that's a contagion of good. Brother Joe Barrett lived out a ministry of gratitude in his retirement years. He made more than 40,000 phone calls just to say thanks to those who supported and prayed for the Marianists. This was his way of spreading the gospel. This was his way of reminding others to give thanks to God. For Brother Joe, 40,000 that's a whole lot of contagion of good. And then there's Father Al McMenemy. When we were able to travel, I would often go to St. Louis for various Marianist meetings, and I would stay at the community where Father Al lives. He always makes a point of finding me just to catch up, asking me how I'm doing, and taking a genuine interest in my work, especially what I do here at Shamanad Julian. This is his way of spreading the gospel, of calling us to see the image of God in every person. And it reminds me to do the same. For Father Al, that's a contagion of good. Each of these four Marianists are quite contagious simply by how they lived their lives. They spread goodness and they encourage others, us, to do the same. So what about you? How will you follow Blessed Shamanad? How will you honor the legacy of these holy Marianists? How will you be like Mary and bring Jesus into the world by your very lives? How will you be contagious, a contagion of good for others? I'd like to challenge you on this Shamanad day to think about that. What is one simple thing that you can do to spread a little bit of goodness? Something that might just encourage a bit of goodness in someone else. If we look around, I believe that our world could use just a little bit more goodness today. In the year 2021, we are all concerned about contagion, and rightfully we should be. But don't just be concerned about that novel coronavirus. Yes, keep your distance, wear your masks. But let's also be concerned with the contagion that Blessed Shamanad began and invites each of us to be a part of. As we celebrate our Holy Founder, as today we celebrate Shamanad Day, I invite all of you cougars, go out and be very, very contagious. Go out and be, live a contagion of good. And may the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit be glorified in all places through the Immaculate Virgin Mary. Amen.